What is up people, this is Teja and in this video I'm going to talk about the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. What it is, why you should even consider taking that certification and I'm also going to talk about the role playing game called AWS Cloud Quest which is basically a gamified training that AWS is offering right now. That's right, you can basically play a role playing game that will help you in developing your AWS cloud skills. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This is one of the trending certifications right now and the reasons are obvious. Cloud computing, as I said in my previous video, is one of the leading domains when it comes to IT and there are many career opportunities as companies are actually moving to cloud. An AWS Cloud Practitioner will basically give you all the skills that you would need in order to work in the cloud computing domain. And not only the job perspective, this certification will actually also give you some essential cloud skills. So this is the official page for the certified cloud practitioner. And here you can see they clearly mention who should take this exam. They say that uh, if you are taking this exam, we recommend that you have six months of exposure to the AWS cloud, basic understanding of IT services and their uses in AWS cloud platform, knowledge of core AWS services and use cases, billing and price models, security concepts, and how cloud impacts your business. So obviously this is not some certification that you can just acquire in a night. It will take a lot of hard work and it is really worth it. And you can see the exam over here, it's a 90 minute exam and the cost is 100 USD. The format is 65 questions, which are either multiple choice or multiple response. You can even take this exam as an online proctored exam, which is cool. You don't have to go to an exam center or anything. You can just attempt it right from your home. That's great. So obviously there are many courses to prepare for this uh, cloud practitioner certification, but here are some of the methods that are mentioned officially on the AWS website. For instance, you can go ahead and download the official exam guide from Amazon. And this is the uh, exam guide. You can just go through it and know what exactly this exam is all about. And then there's the sample questions which you can download. And when it comes to training, AWS actually offers a free training for you. You can see here, there's an AWS Cloud Practitioners Essentials Digital Training. So you can actually open it and this is a completely free course that you can take, which is taught by AWS experts. So you can go ahead and take this course. And hey, you can also see that there is an on-demand training available on Twitch. So if I go ahead and open it, you can see this is the course and you can actually watch all these episodes on Twitch, which is awesome, right? And these are also taught by AWS experts. So anyways, if you're just a beginner and you don't have much experience when it comes to AWS, and if you're just trying to get started, then I think CloudQuest, as I said, this role-playing gamified AWS training is absolutely the way to go. So let me go ahead and do a walkthrough of this game. Let's go, I'm gonna click on start your quest. The link will obviously be in the description below, so go check it out. So as you can see, it's available for absolutely free of course, so you don't even have to pay anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on enroll and it asks me to sign in to AWS Skill Builder, so I'll click on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on login with Amazon. Okay, so I have logged in, I'm gonna click on enroll. Hmm, there you go, that's the game. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna click on play now and... Okay, I guess the game is loading, let me make it full screen. Yeah, anyway, let me click on start game. Um, welcome to the city, all right, thank you. Next, welcome to Cloud Practitioner role. You will be introduced to AWS services and you will build basic AWS solutions. Each solution you build will solve a business problem in the city. Click the map points to explore, then click start. Cool, I'm gonna click on start. Oh, I get to choose my own avatar. Is that what it is? Yep, it is. Um, Okay, so I'll just choose an avatar. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Click on next. Cool, so that is the city, I guess. And we are standing right there in the middle. So this smartphone icon is your new XR device. Okay, it contains assignments from citizens that need your help. Okay, watch your first assignment as a route. Wait, watch out. Okay. Why is there a gorilla in the, in the, in the city? 
Um, okay. Good luck, buddy. Strange, Miss Gorilla usually wears a hat. Anyway, <laughs> click on, click to open your XI device and click route and go. Okay. Oh, we are skateboarding. Hello and welcome to the city. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you too. Okay, fine. Our data center powers most of the technical infrastructure here, but the drawback is that it takes months to procure and configure servers. That is pretty common problem when provisioning your own infrastructure. Have you considered AWS cloud infrastructure? Okay, so this is the problem that we need to solve, I guess. He says, well, if it is that fast, I have a request. We have a web page that predicts the wave sizes at the beach each day. Surfers check for big waves and families want to know when the waves are lower for safety reasons. Unfortunately, we are facing some challenges keeping those servers up and running. Okay, is this a static web page? I'm not sure what that means. Let me check from my notes from IT. It says right here that it is a static website. Okay, so now we know that it is a static website. It's not a dynamic web app. It is just a website, a static website. Okay, got it. Since you're running a static web, web page, um, we can migrate it to an Amazon S3 bucket and enable static website hosting. So Amazon S3 bucket is basically a storage solution that AWS offers where you can basically store stuff and you can serve it on the internet as needed. Great, I can't wait to see the new solution. Go to Solution Center. So I guess now it's our job to actually fix that. Um, we should, from what I understand, we should uh, host this static web page from the Amazon S3 bucket. That's what I understood. The solution center is split into four sections that contain descriptions, details, and guidance for each solution you will build, okay? So in the learn section, you will navigate through an interactive diagram of the solutions architecture, watch videos about the AWS services related to the solution, fine. In the plan section, you will review a breakdown of your building tasks, okay? And in the practice section, you will build a portion of the solution using a step-by-step -step guide and then review important concepts related to each guided step. In the DIY section, you will complete the solution independently to reinforce what you have learned. Okay, so now we are in the first step, which is the learn step. And here we can see the actual diagram or the infrastructure of the solution we are trying to build. So here we can understand that there is an island web portal and there's an island IT department that is basically pushing daily updates regarding the waves information, the information about the kind of waves that will occur today on the beach. So they're basically pushing these daily updates to the Amazon S3 bucket. Um, and then from this Amazon S3 bucket, we're actually hosting or launching that island web portal. So that island web portal will basically do a HTTP GET request, which will fetch that uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever is stored in that Amazon S3 bucket, and it's going to display it in the web portal. Um, okay, that 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 makes sense. So here actually they are, they are giving us a hint that we need to rename the index.html into waves.html and actually you can click on this video concepts button right here and that will actually give you some videos that will uh, teach you or make you understand the concepts that are required in order to build a solution for this particular problem. So you can actually go ahead and watch these videos. I'm not going to watch them in this video but but yeah you can go ahead and actually watch this video and learn um, new concepts about AWS. So let me go to the next step, which is the planning step. Okay, so it says, uh, so it says practice lab goals. Uh, we have to basically create an S3 bucket, configure the S3 bucket, and then upload the lab files to the S3 bucket. Okay, so this is what we are actually planning to do. I'm gonna click on practice. Okay, so this is the cool part. You don't have to create a separate AWS account for this lab, for this whole um, Cloud Quest game, you don't need a separate AWS account because they will prepare an AWS account for you without any billing information required. That's awesome, right? So you can just go ahead and click on Start Lab and they will actually provision a new AWS account which you can use for 
uh, for lab exercises in this game. That's awesome. After completing the DIY activity, validate your solution by inputting the correct criteria type or paste the name of the Amazon S3 bucket you created into this field and then click validate. Okay, that makes sense. And then our servers will test if the static web page within your bucket is up or not and if the validation is successful you will receive a success message okay fine okay so i'm gonna click on open aws console and that i think is taking me to the actual aws console okay there you go okay so here if i come back to the game there are different steps that i have to follow click the lab files and download the lab code.zip file so let me go ahead and download this labcode.zip file there you go it's downloaded and then the step three is to double click the zip folder basically extract it and let's go ahead and extract it okay so inside that extracted folder there is index.html main.js policy.txt styles.css and target file.csv the next step is to go to the aws console page and then in services type s3 and okay we have to basically create an s3 bucket so i'm going to go back to my aws console so i'm going to search for s3 and i actually need to create a bucket so i'll click on create bucket here i'll name my aws bucket i'll say waves so here it says in the object ownership section choose acls enabled there you go i'm gonna click on acls enabled and it asks me to choose the object ownership as object write-up so i'm gonna do that i'll finally click on create bucket oh a bucket with the same name already exists i guess that have to be unique as well okay uh what should i do i'll just say tejas for who followed by waves okay something like that to just make it unique create bucket and there you go successfully created bucket and then uh, we actually have to upload the files that we have downloaded the lab files i'm gonna first go to that bucket and i'm gonna click on upload and here i'm gonna click on add files i'm going to browse to my aws cloud quest folder go to the lab code and i'm gonna add all these files Oh, and actually, you know what? They are not asking us to um, upload the policy.txt file. So I'll just go ahead and remove that. This wants us to upload these four files. So I'm going to click on upload. All right. So all the four files have been uploaded. You can see the status for all these four are succeeded. Okay. So I guess the next step is to actually set up the static hosting. And in order to do that, I'll have to go to properties and then scroll down. And I don't find anything. Okay, there you go. Static website hosting. I think I'll have to enable that. Click on enable. Under static website hosting, choose enable. We have already done that. Under hosting type, choose host a static website. That's already selected. And under index document, type index.html. That is the name of our file. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Click save changes. I guess that's it. I'm going to click on save changes successfully edited that and i guess the next step is to actually edit the bucket policy section so i'll just go to the permissions and they want me to actually delete all the content that is in the policy editor section so they just want me to delete all of this all right and they want me to copy the bucket arn and then now they want us to open the policy.txt file which is in those which is one of those lab files so here in the resource i have to replace this with my buckets arn all right i'm gonna go ahead and replace it i'll copy all of this and i'll paste it in the policy editor and i'll just save that all right i guess that's it i'll go to properties tab again and here i can actually find the url to my amazon uh, bucket which i've created and this should be actually accessible publicly over the internet because i've changed the policies like that so if i open this in my new tab oh there you go that is the web page it actually shows me the wave conditions information right this is what we wanted to host okay i guess we are done i guess so what should we do now let me come back to the cloud quest okay so we got this same web page that they are displaying here so that means we have done everything right um okay it just says congratulations you have completed the practice section so we have to go to the diy section now all right let's go to the diy section it asks us to enter the bucket name uh which is stages for waves if i'm not wrong uh validate it could not find the waves.html file in the bucket please ensure you have renamed the file as requested in the do-it-yourself oh actually yeah 
you know what, we actually have to rename the index.html to waves.html. That's one thing you have to do. Okay, so let me go ahead and rename it. I'm gonna click on index.html and rename object. So I'm gonna rename this to waves waves.html, save changes. Okay, so if I refresh this, I think it will not be accessible, but if I go to slash waves.html, oh, there you go. So let me go back and click on validate again. The assignment has been completed. Okay. That's great news, guys. We have completed the first assignment, I guess. Uh, I think there are in total 12 assignments like this. So you can go ahead and check this out. And it's a really good way to actually start preparing for the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification. Uh, as you can see, it's a gamified training. You can actually learn new concepts while having fun while playing the game so yeah go check it out the link will be in the description below that'll be it for this video i hope you liked it if you did like it please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also leave a comment in the comment section if you are not yet a subscriber please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates so i'll see you in the next video until then cheers